Here we have the following trees of a tree adjoining gamma given. We are asked to write down their tuples and the function L that assigns the labels to the nodes. These are the two trees we have here. They are called gamma and gamma bar. And let's start with gamma. And the tree gamma is defined by a set of nodes, a set of edges, and one node of these that is the root node. Now, as you can see, we have a problem. We have Here we have one node called NP or labeled NP, and here we have another node called NP, but they are completely different nodes that has not that have nothing to, nothing to do with each other. So first we are starting to number the nodes. And well I will write it here like a shadow of this tree. So the S node will be our V0, NP will be our V1, and we are going down in the tree by um, with the numbering. Vp will be our v, v2, then we have v3, and walks will be our v4, and we do the same for the second tree, np will be v5, so um, I go on with numbering, so we don't, we don't have two nodes with the same number, with the same name, and Mary will be our v6. So now we can just uh, write the sets down for gamma and here the sets of node for gamma will be all the nodes we have in this tree. So we have v0, v1, v2, v3 and v4 and then we have a set of edges and we are um, uh, we write down the edges by naming the mother node first and then the daughter node at the second position and we are going down in the same order in the tree oh, well for the set doesn't matter but uh, now for showing i do that order so the, this edge this edge here or i can i can do it in color this edge here will be from V0 to V1. Then we will have this edge. This will be from V0 to V2. And let's make a third one in color. The third one will be from V2 to V3. Now let's, uh, let, let's use white again. And the last edge will be from, or is from V3 to V4. So this is our set of edges. Then we have to write down the root node. And the root node is, well, it's the one on the top. We have only one here, and in this case it's V0. Now we are writing down the function L that labels the node and it looks like this. If we put in um, something like V0, the function will give back the label of the node V0. In this case it's S. Then we have the label of V1. It's this one. It's NP. The label of V2, it's this one, it's VP. The label of V3, it's this one here, so it's V, and so on and so on. And the label for V4 is walks. Now we are done with the, uh, with the first tree, then we have the second. And uh, to not confuse the different sets, we, um, we name them all differently, so we get uh, a bar. 
so the set of gamma bar is um, not the set. Uh, gamma bar consists of the tuple V bar. Well, it looks like in a big R. V bar, E bar, and R. And well, we are. This will be a little bit faster. So. V bar is a set of the two nodes we have here, so it's V5 and V6. And we have the edges. In this case, we have only one edge here from V5 to V6. And we have the root node. In this case, it's V5. And now we need to the label function and the label of V5 is, as you can see here, it's NP. And the label of V6, it's Mary. Well, and why do we need all this stuff that will be a little bit more clear in the next few videos?